Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today we got a service call for a cooling tower that the heat trace is tripping the breaker. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So we got an issue that supposedly the heat trace is tripping the breaker. So this is one of the heat traces. This is basically a wire that works off a temperature control. And once it reaches a certain temperature, it's gonna turn on and it's just gonna heat up the pipes because this thing sits outside and you don't want it to freeze. So it's pretty simple as that. Right now they have only this one connected and they said it works, so this is okay. But then, they said if you follow this conduit, there's another heat trace for this area. And they said when it was connected, it was tripping the breaker. Here is a temperature control. So it looks like at about 45 degrees, 46 degrees or so, the heat trace comes on and it heats up the pipe. Today it is currently 39 degrees. So let's see. Coming from the breaker comes in here and it goes up into the control, out of the control, and then it heats up this heat trace. Right now they have the breaker off, they just turned it off. So let's turn it on and let's at least confirm that this heat trace is working first. This thing is seriously becoming my favorite tool. Oops, low battery. So heat trace. It's this one right here, it's 15 amps. Let's turn that on, it's not tripping. Let's go over to the other side and see what's going on. Well, let's just put one leg from power to ground. Let's make sure, yes, we have 120 volts. This is 120 volts, single phase. All right, we have power. And between the two here, we got zero volts, so this circuit is closed so okay let's set this to amps that's the wire right here and we set it to amps and we have 1.3 amps so we are pulling amps okay all right so this heat trace is pulling amps. It is working. I do wanna, I am curious about what kind of amperage that's supposed to pull, but regardless, that is working. We are pulling amps, low amperage. And these are the two wires that are disconnected. Sometimes you just wanna look right at the edges here. Sometimes you might see like the electrical exposed and it could be a short. Let's see, I'm gonna travel this conduit. We're gonna come in right here. So it comes in here, then it actually comes around here. Then there's another box, and here's another heat trace. So let's open up these covers. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so we got it disconnected down there comes up the conduit into this whip and it feeds this heat trace right here it feeds the heat trace right here power neutral it's connected here and then in series if we follow along this conduit it travels here and here I just I, I didn't disconnect it, I opened the box and I see that it's disconnected. So this heat trace, there's, so there's three heat traces here. One for this, for this pipe, make up water. One for this area. And then a third one right here. This one's not even in play. Right off the bat. I can see a little bit exposed copper here. Really could be a short. Like this touched metal and that would pop the breaker. 
So I'm just gonna leave it things the way they are and I just wanna confirm what they're saying is actually true. So I'm gonna connect on the other side and see if it pops the breaker. And then it's gonna be a process of elimination where I'm gonna isolate this heater and that heater. While I connect, just make sure that power is off. All right, so I connected the wires. Let's hit the breaker. Hmm. There you go, you just saw it. Breaker tripped. All right. Now it's gonna be a game of process of elimination. Turned it off. I do have everything connected here. Just wanna show you guys. So what I'm gonna do next, so I'm, I'm just gonna follow this along. It's not a long run. So next what I would do is disconnect the wires coming in here. If that trips, again, when I turn the power on, then the short or the issue is the wires itself. Well, this right here, the wires itself coming from there. So let's just do this step by step. All right, I disconnected these two wires. You can see they're coming from here. And that's the ones that are, that are connected in the box that I just connected that tripped the breaker. So now that this is disconnected, let's hit that breaker and see what happens. Let's keep an eye on it and see what happens. Oh man, it tripped. Look at that. So there's nothing connected. There's no heaters at all connected over there. So this is telling me right now that the problem is actually in those wires leading up to that heater. All right, easy money. Let me just explain a little bit what's going on. So the only thing that, that is connected here is, the one, is these two wires inside this conduit. Because, let me show you again. These are the two wires coming. That's the only thing that got connected before. Before it was just that heat trace connected and everything was fine. So we know we're good. All right. Stayed on for a while and everything. They actually, this, this happened last night. So they were able to keep that running. So this thing's been running all night. That's confirmed. There's no issue there. The issue is somewhere between this line this heat trace and the next heat trace, okay? So, even when I came here, I saw the nick right there, a little copper piece, you can see it. It's, I wouldn't be surprised if more of it is like that. And you know what's the issue here too? It's really hard to run solid wire through like a conduit and stuff like that. I don't think that's right. And when you're, when this wire is solid, you're bending it here and there, the insulation is gonna break. And I mean, the conduit's metal. It touches the metal, that's gonna short out your breaker. Well, trip your breaker, excuse me. So the issue is right here between these wires. So I still got it disconnected at that heater, but just to be sure I'm not getting some weird feedback from here, even though it stayed on, I disconnected that and I just have power just going straight from the breaker to that, uh, just leading for the wires up to the heater. Nothing's connected except just the wires itself. So let's turn on the breaker and see if it trips again. All right, we turned it on. There you go, tripped again. The only thing else left in this circuit is that controller itself. The last thing I could do is real, to really confirm it's the wires itself is just get rid of this control and just do straight power from the breaker itself. If it trips, then 100% is just the wires leading up to there. And then once those wires are replaced, I would need to further troubleshoot to see if that heat trace even works. It's just direct power from the breaker straight to those wires. If this trips, then this is 100% confirmation. It's been about a minute. It hasn't tripped. So 
uh, to me, now it's telling me it's that controller. All right, all right. So, the last thing I could really check and do to truly determine it's the controller, just change these little wires right here. I'm gonna pull it out and see if I can physically see anything. Maybe there's some kinks in the wire. I really don't, I see a little bit of plastic of the insulation come off, but there's nothing really leading to tell me that it was the wire itself. It must be this controller. All right, so what I did is I replaced the wires from here to here. I ran two black wires, okay? I'm gonna turn on the breaker, see if it trips, at the same time check for amps. And just a quick heads up, I did connect the heaters over there. I'm not sure if I pointed that out yet. I got a lot going on. You see, when there's emergencies, your mind is racing, you're working fast, you might slip up, but you know, it happens. But at the end of the day, it's all about you catch yourself and are you gonna fix the problem? So never rush, never. All right, turn that breaker on a little bit, give it some time, give it a few minutes, and if everything stays on, it's not the controller. And all it actually was, was these, one of these two wires just leading up from here up to the controller. Wow. This one's pulling an amp. And that's the one that actually is getting warm. So we fixed the short issue. See, it's 85 degrees now. So we fixed the short issue. But to me, we got some bad heat trace. Let me just make sure that they were getting power to confirm. And if we're getting power and we're not getting amps and the thing is not getting hot, then we got two bad heat traces. 120 volts. Okay, we have voltage here. And we got 0.4 amps. It's like nothing. Got nothing over there. That don't look good to me. Okay. Next one. volts and where's my amps no amps so we have voltage on both of them we're not getting we're not getting amps should at least be reading some sort of heat. We got 49 degrees here. Okay. We got about 55 degrees. This thing was like pulling the slightest amount of amps, but this thing is bad. So, to wrap things up, we had a short in those wires. We fixed that. Now the breaker doesn't trip anymore. As you can see, we have 120 volts everywhere, but we're only really pulling amps from over there. We're not getting amps here and we're not getting amps here. So we found a short and we got two bad heat traces that need to be replaced. Anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.